Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with another video on Tower of Fantasy. Now, in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is going over my entire thought process for VR 2.0, more specifically um, Ruby. Am I going to be summoning? Will I be skipping on her banner? Or do I think she is worth getting? Now, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, stay tuned for more content on Tower Fantasy. If you guys don't want to miss out on future content, especially when 2.0 comes out, I will be making some guides, especially if I do something for Ruby, I should be making a showcase video on her as well. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel, make sure that post notification is on. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. Okay, let's get right into it. So my thought process with 2.0 is I am actually pretty excited just because of change of scenery. Not gonna lie, I haven't really explored artificial islands too much because I've been relatively busy however because we know the release date for 2.0 which is going to be on the 20th of october which in my opinion is actually a great day for me just because i don't have that many stuff to do so i can prioritize you know trying to bang out the game in that day however we don't actually know the utc or the time zone where it's going to be releasing it might come out on the 19th of my region or it might come out on the 21st if it does come out on the 21st I will be extremely pissed off just because I wouldn't have enough time to actually explore Vera 2.0 just because I am extremely busy at that time but if it does come out um, in the morning of um, 20th of October that will be extremely amazing for me and then I can also go and summon for Ruby then also go ahead and make a video for you guys and it's obviously explore 2.0 now in terms of ruby's balancing that they have done in a global server i do feel like it's something i do like just because i i'm just happy they didn't change her skills compared to like core b um obviously if you guys were someone who wanted to main a fire team it's gonna suck for you guys because now you have to summon for ruby which does kind of suck um but i do feel like ruby was just a better option to save for compared to cobalt b all of the content creators have specifically made videos talking about why you should skip on cobalt b so if you ended up summoning for her and you're free to play player now you're wondering about ruby all i can say is uh, ruby was definitely the better choice to go for now unfortunately ruby is not in the warehouse in the tower of fantasy game so we can't officially confirm that this is the balancing they've done to ruby they might actually decide to change it up just before she comes out but for, from what i can see so far she does look decent and if they do keep the same uh, balancing as we've seen with the leaks then i will definitely consider something for her i will need to explain to you why i'm considering it but i do feel like it is a 90% there is a 90% chance i will summon for ruby just because i am actually bored of the characters i'm currently using so if you guys have been following my channel since the beginning of tower fantasy you will know i did summon for nemesis and i summoned for frig and the last time i really summoned was in frig and i just feel bored of all the characters i use i don't even use frig at the moment just because the ice team i have is not as strong as my other team with my nemesis so the only reason why i'm not using my ice team and you know exploring the new team i could build is just because it will not give me the most amount of damage uh, and right now the main team i just use is the nemesis the king and the um samir now if i do go ahead and summon for ruby i can easily replace my king actually i say easily but king is at four star i'm not sure if my zero star ruby will be better than my four star king but i do expect the damage to be quite good and overall i think i will enjoy the, the play style from ruby a lot more compared to king another reason why i want to summon for ruby is just because i like the animations from her like fire characters in most games have the most like you know better animations i've seen what she can do in a cn server in terms of the animation it looks extremely fun to play as ruby and i just want to get the weapon now with vera 2.0 i will say that um i am ex you know extremely excited to explore everything i hope nothing is time gated i don't think anything will be time gated but hopefully it isn't um and like i said if it does come out on the morning of of 20th of october that will be extremely you know amazing for me and i can actually properly test out um, ruby when she comes out now if you guys have seen my last video or videos a couple of days ago i did make a video going over the amount of currencies i have saved up for vera 2.0 now to just quickly update you guys how much i have right now um last video if you guys want to go and see it yourself last video i believe i had about 80 red nucleus right now i have about 98 i'm close to 100 and in terms of my dark crystals i have about 41k which in my last video i do believe i had about 38k so as you can see i do have a sizable increase in uh, currency right now now if you're going to do the calculations of how much resources you need 
so if you did 100 and no if you did 1500 times 12 which is the amount you will need to do to guarantee yourself getting or if you guys guys get lucky and you reach hard pity you would need about 18,000 dark crystals which as you can see i already have so i could guarantee myself getting a ruby however my also my thought process is also thinking about lin as well as saki Fuwa. Now assuming the balancing they do with the rest of the 2.0 characters is the same as the ruby so the only thing they really change is the percentage of the skills and nothing much with the skill set then I still will summon for both of them and I really want to get a 1 star Saki Fuwa because I've seen the advancement in the CN server and the advancement is actually very very good at 1 star so I definitely want to get that and as well as with Lin I am also thinking about getting her to 3 stars as well just so that I can have myself a very very good AOE attacker or you know a character that can deal damage and just is fabulous to play as as well so now i have about um well let's just try and convert my red nucleus and dark crystals i believe i have nearly over 60k or maybe over 60k i'm just running this off my, the top of my head so i haven't actually properly calculated it but if i wanted to hard pity f um, characters three characters specifically i would need about 54k now my thought is if I just go ahead and summon for Ruby right now, obviously when Vera comes out we will get more free to play Red Nucleus, more free to play Crystals which is going to be fantastic for me as well. Um, also I have more time to save up for um, Lyra as well because Lyra is also a character I want to save up for as well. I really want to get Ruby, I want to get Sakifu, I want to get Lin, I also want to get Lyra. Those are the four particular characters I'm more interested in. I also want to get Tai Lang as well just because I do feel like he's going to make my vault team a lot stronger and just because the game right now is just giving me a lot of attack and vault. Literally, literally the highest stats I have right now is in my vault team which kind of sucks. Uh, but I might have to re-roll my gear all over again to try and get a better element, maybe frost or fire. If you guys are wondering which team I'm trying to main, well the answer is going to be ice. I want to make my ice team the strongest. So that's why I'm going for a 1 star Faki Saki Fuwa. And I'm also going for hopefully a 3 star, um, 3 star Lin. But that might be very hard to go ahead and do. So yes, will I be summoning for Ruby? The answer is, well actually I will have to wait a day before I summon for um, Ruby just because I'm going to wait for other content creators to make a video on her to you know give me a better understanding of what damage she is putting out I want her damage to be at least 20% higher than my king at the moment um, yes I want her damage as C0 to be stronger than my um, king at C4 I don't, I don't know if you guys are going to say that's impossible, but I really do expect that to happen. Um, I also want to see what type of damage she's going to be hitting or the shatter value because I don't want to use King. And I feel like to improve my team or just make my gameplay a lot better, I want to use a newer character as well. Um, right now, Nemesis is just overall one of the best characters to, over, to get, limited character to get just because she has... Um, huge damage she also has some healing capabilities as well and ruby is just going to come out with some really really solid damage solid damage as well as some shatter value so that's going to be extremely nice to get as well um but yeah um i have technically not a free to play player i did say that in my last video not free to play player i am a dolphin no, i'm not even a dolphin i'm just a, a fish in the ocean i have spent about over like 300 in the game um I've all I've just been saving my materials to be honest. Not really summoned for any banner in particular. Um, right now, all I want to do is just make sure I can get all the characters I really, really want, and then hopefully just save up using free-to-play resources. I am trying to be cost-effective as I'm deciding on summoning. Even though I spend in the game, I don't want to spend too much, or I don't really want to spend at all. So yes, even though I've dropped about 300, I don't want to spend any more. So I'm going to be cautious and be, you know, very picky on, on which characters I go ahead and summon for. So that's why I'm making this video right now. If you guys are free to play player, I will always recommend you guys to, you know, wait and see what content creators say about Ruby. If the character's damage is good, whether the shatter value is good. Just wait for content creators to update you guys on whether the character is useful to get and then you guys can go ahead and summon. Also we've seen with um, you know, recent banner um, that comes out there was always a bug or maybe issues. 
just maybe save or um, you know um, stop summoning immediately just because you don't know what's going to happen with tower fantasy because of the amount of bugs that always happen but essentially i will be summoning for ruby um assuming content creators other content creators that are willing to spend a lot more money in the game uh, cover her and say she's good then yeah i will also go ahead and summon because personally i don't want to risk it you know I, I i don't want to risk it i want to make sure i make the best investment in my account whilst using the least amount of money that is hopefully the end goal for many people and just don't you know rush into spending too much in a game that they will quit in the future i don't know anyways it's been about ac gamer stay tuned for more content on tower of fantasy tell me down in the comment section what you guys are going to be thinking of doing right now with ruby will you guys be saving for her will you guys be you know summoning for her will you guys be skipping do you think she's a fantastic character do you think she's going to be the strongest fire character we have right now it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out